Uh, first of all, what was it like to be back uh, in Charlotte? Uh, I think for the first time since um, you were there last. Uh, you know, it's always special to come back to the former team. You know, and you know, I got a chance since I'm in the league to spend multiple years like with one franchise. You know, I spent seven years with Blazers, five years here. So I got a good understanding of time. So it's always special to come back for the first time. But I'm going to wait until I'm Ty, Ty, over the last couple games, even though you guys have won, um, he's talked a lot on the turnovers and how you guys have been a little too careless with the ball. I'm curious, like, you guys shot 53% today, had 28 assists, I believe, but 17 turnovers again. Are you, like, satisfied with the way you're playing right now on both ends? Uh, kind of. We do some good things, yes, but, I mean, the way we turn the ball over, like, sometimes we try to do too much. We try to overpass maybe too much sometimes. Mm -hmm. And... That's something we worry about it because it's not like careless. We need some careless stuff, but actually we try to move the ball and make the right play. And we've got two games to really like correct that. But I mean, I like the mindset. I like the mindset of moving the ball back together. Thank you. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Law. Hey, Nick. Uh, first, apologize that I'm on incognito mode here, but. Um, Ty has discussed often over the past month, especially since you've went to the bench, that they need you to shoot. They, they need you to take the open shots, to, to be aggressive. And uh, I mean, you made a couple threes today, you hit that mid range today. Uh, how, how are you feeling about, you know, when you're out there searching for your shot, uh, especially with uh, the bench lineups? Uh, that's, that's the thing is I don't really look for my shot. No, I just let the game come to me. I don't come in, so okay, I gotta take six, eight, ten shots today. So I just thought to make the right play because I got so many guys, great shooter, great scorer around me. So I know I have to make the right play. That's my job with this team. That's what's be my job. So I don't try to force like, okay, I haven't shot in five minutes, so I gotta take the next shot. No, I'm just trying to get the, like a correct shot. Like I didn't take the shot in the first half because I don't feel like I had like a good open look. But I think I took five or six because it looked pretty good. So I just try to make the right play at the time. I don't really worry about this. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Farbad. Hey, hey, Nick. I just want to know. You know, you guys are two games away from going into the playoffs. How excited are you to, you know, go back into the playoffs and be a part of such a special team that everybody seems to be, you know, so excited at the opportunity to go to battle with each other in the playoffs? Just, I just want to know your overall thoughts on how excited you are, you know, coming up for this next week. You know, that, that's why I came here. You know, when, when I got let go, you know, I got, I got a couple of choices. And I feel like this one was on a good team. I got a chance to do some special in that. And that's why I came here. You know, you know we took games away to start at the big dance. So you know, I think we're all excited. We can't wait. You know, we have to stay focused on the next two games for sure. I don't know what's going to happen next, but of course, we're we, we getting, getting ready for of the playoffs and you know we need to check we good see but win the West this is gonna be a crazy battle with a lot, a lot of teams so it'll be it's gonna be great. Thanks we have time for one more we'll go to Om. Hey Nick um now that you're two games away from the playoffs what have you learned about Paul George and Kawhi Leonard playing with them and also what have you learned about Ty Lu? No the the, the guys are uh, Two of them, the champions, you know, PG led teams to the conference finals, two times in a row when it was in Indiana. So the three big time guys have been in big games and on the big band. So, you know, I, I, it's great to have them when you do, your two best friends, your coach have been in those situations. And I don't care what happened last year. I wasn't there. I don't care about this. I'm really focused on what happened right now. And, you know, we got PG having a great season, or Kawhi getting his rhythm back, you know. Uh, T Lou guys rotation, they know like how to talk to each other. You know, he, he knows that him and his staff like they know how to talk to each other when they, like how to coach us. So I'm really confident to have those three guys, you know, the coach and the two best player. I mean those three guys in my team is pretty amazing. How is Ty different than other coaches you've had before? Is he different? Uh yes. I mean the way he approached the game, the way I mean I got four coach my career, five coaches, my career, and they were different. But, you know, no, he was a coach, but he was, I mean, I played with Steve. So, like, well, he played the league, like, not too long ago with big time players. So, he knows, like, what we're going through because he was there, like, in our shoes, like, less than 10, 12 years ago. So, he knows what we're going through. So, it's very to have a coach. 